and first grade friends. Thank you for joining us here at Math Homework Helpers How To Hotline. I'm Mr. Tang. And I'm Max, and we're here to help you with some math homework questions and problems. So Mr. Tang, before we get started, what's that on your face? Actually, this is a mask that I'm using to protect myself from getting germs. You know, with the pandemic and the virus happening right now, we want to make sure we're all be staying safe. Oh, okay. But since we're outdoors and we're at least six feet apart, yeah, I'd say we're closer be, to 12 feet. It might be safe enough for me to take this off for now because there's okay. no one else around. And we can get started. Very good. Safety first, boys and girls. Speaking of getting started, Mr. Tang, what math stuff do you got in the tank for us today? Well, Max, our first grade friends have been working in their October number corner on reviewing some sequencing from numbers from 10 to 39. Oh, wow. They've observed and discussed the third and fourth decade days. So we'll talk a little bit about what those mean, but let's go ahead and take a look at some activities to review some of that work. So when you hear decade, what does that make you think of, Max? Hmm, makes me think of a long time. A long time. Yeah, almost like 10 years, I think. 10 years. So every 10 years, we celebrate the different decades, right? And when you're 10 years old, you're 20 years old. Oh, yeah. I think we stop counting after that, right? Because we don't. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I think I'm around 755, so I'm, you know, five more years to another decade for me. That's a, that's a lot. You're, you're pretty yeah, old. Yeah, I've been great. around. I've been pretty around. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here, the third decade day. So we're going to help Tad hop from 0 to 30 by tracing his hops. Oh, I love hopping. So we are going to be counting by tens, because that's how we count by decades. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and start with orange, because I think that's your favorite color. How did you know, Mr. Tang? You're amazing. So let's start at zero. Tad's at zero. Our first hop, we're going to count by ten. 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 Another ten. We're at? Twenty. Twenty. And one more ten. Thirty. Thirty. So how many times did we hop to get to thirty? Let's see. One, two, three. Awesome. So if we're counting by tens, it takes us three hops to get from zero to 30. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so we're going to take a look at the numbers within the 20s family. So we're going to go ahead and trace those numbers. I'm going to switch over to, let's go ahead and use black. Oh, cool. All right, boys and girls, we know that writing numbers can sometimes be hard and difficult. So my advice for you is just to take your time with it. Slow it down and trace it as carefully as you can. Well, that's a good idea, taking it slow. Because the number 2 in 20 is kind of tricky, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a lot of different squiggle. It's got one big squiggle, and then it's got that straight line at the bottom. Yeah, and a diagonal line in there, too. Yeah. So we have to be able to come sideways almost, huh? So the first number is 2 and a 0. That's going to be... 20. 20. Our next one, we have a 2 and a 1. That's 20. 1. Moving on, we have a 2 and then another 2. Ooh, 22. Good job, Max. Keep going here. We have a 2 and a 3. Uh, let's see, 23. And then we have a 2 and a 4. 24. 24. Hey, Max. Yes. Why, did I, why are these separated from one another? Why didn't I just write them all together? Well, I guess it would be very hard to tell where you are if you wrote them all together. Yeah, kind of confusing. If I had, if I had tw the 20 and the 21 too close together, that Oh, it would could look be like a bigger number I almost. I had a big number, like 2,021. Yeah. But we're in first grade right now. We're just practicing our numbers in our 20s. So when, when you're writing your numbers, make sure you're separating them enough to we, so we can be able to tell the difference between the, the different numbers that you're writing. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so what's after 24? Let's go ahead here. We have a 2 and One. a 5. So that would be 25. 25. Then we have a 2 and a 6. Oh, I know this one too. 26. 26. 2 and a 7. 27. 27. Then we have a 2 and an eight. Oh, the eight, those are fun to draw. 28. Eights are fun, huh? Two and a nine. 29. Hey, you know what, Mr. Tang, I just realized you had to write a two at the beginning of every one of those numbers. So, so Max makes a really good point. 
every number in the 20s family starts with the number two. Two. Cool. So we're getting some good practice here, writing all the numbers in our 20s family. Nice. Let's Harry, see that was fun. Can we do some more, Mr. Tang? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what we have next. Choose a number to practice writing. Write it here as many times as you can. So boys and girls at home right now, if you have a piece of paper in front of you, think about the number that you have the hardest time writing. So let's see. Max, what do you think is the hardest one? You know what? I'm going to have to say I think 25 is pretty hard. 25 is pretty tough. So let's go ahead and do that here. Start with my two. And this is a little harder because you can't trace anything. I can't trace it. If I have someone at home who might want to help me out, maybe they can go ahead and write it, write it for me in, like maybe write it really lightly, and ah. then I can trace over it. Nice. If you need to. If not though, feel free to go ahead and use the space provided to practice that. Cool, I see. So the two kind of starts on that middle dotted line, then you go up to the top line and then diagonal down. I yeah, how you're doing a, that. a great way to be able to do this also is if you have, if you see the number written somewhere else, just try to copy that the best you can. Oh yeah, cool. All right, let's try it again. I don't want to write it too close because if I write it too close. <gasps> oh yeah, you're right. It does all look like one big huge number. Right, so let's go ahead and erase that because I don't want to make that mistake. So let's give it a little space. You know what? I'm going to put it even further out. Here you go. Ooh, that's oh. a good one. Do you see how fast I did that? You're getting better. I'm getting pretty good at this. All right, let's do one more over here. Oh, that's the best one. You like that? Creme a la creme. So Very boys good. and girls, feel free. Take your time. Practice as many different numbers as you want and just take your time with it. That's the best piece of advice I can give you. All right, let's move on. What number comes after 29? Huh. Well, hmm. wait a minute. When we were tracing our numbers, we stopped at 29. Yeah. I guess whatever number comes next is not in, the, in that decade, right? Well, I, I know. Is it this? 2010. Uh, Mr. Tang, I'm uh, pretty sure you're embarrassing yourself right now. I don't think that's it. I think that would be 210. Oh, you're right. I was trying to trick you, Max. Aha! Uh -huh. You're too good for it, though. I'm trying. Right, so it looks like we're done with our 20s then. OK. So then we said the next decade that came after our 20s was our 30. Oh, so maybe. Oh, so, so 30. 30 would be next. 30. Cool. OK, so now we get a chance to write some equations with the number 30. So 30 equals. Hmm, interesting. What's an equation that we can write that's equal to 30? Uh, let's see. Well, you could say, going back to when we counted our decades, you could say 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30, right? Because we jumped a decade each time. I love it. Good job, Max. Going back again, we went from, we started at zero, we added 10, 10. once, added 10 again, and added 10 again, and we got 30. Boom! So adding 10 plus 10 plus 10 should equal 30. Nice. Can we write that a different way? Let what happens think. when we add 10 plus 10? What do we have? I uh, see 10 plus 10 is 20. 20. So if we start with 20, what can we add to 20 to get to 30? Let's see. If we're at 20, can you go back to the other page real quick? Absolutely. If we're at 20. So we added 10 plus 10. We said we're going to be at 20. What are we oh. adding to the 20 to get to 30? Just 10 more. Adding 10 more. Another decade. Another decade. So 20 plus 10 equals 30. Nice. OK, let's go back to this, though. When we, let's, let's do one more here, OK? And I got a good one for you, Max. Oh, cool. If we have 29. What? What can we add to 29 to get to 30? OK, hold on a second. I know this one. We were 29 earlier, and we said the next number was 30. The so next if it's, number. If it's the next number, that means it's one more. So it would be 29 plus 1? Equals 30. Woo! <laughs> yeah. All right. Good job, Max. 
Let's go ahead and move on, and now we're going to look at the fourth decade. So we can move a little bit faster now that we've kind of seen the patterns here. But let's yeah. go ahead and help Tad now move from zero to 40. All righty. Start let's at do zero. This. We add 10, we get to? 10. Another 10. 20. Another 10. 30. And another 10. 40. 40. Cool. So take a look. We, how many times did we have to hop from zero to get to 40? Once. One. Two, three, four. Four. Good job, Max. Thank right. you, Mr. Tang. Now we're going to trace and say the numbers in the 30s family. Um, let's go ahead and use. Oh, green, 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 green. Green. Yeah. Just because you asked so nicely. Thank you, Mr. Tang. It's All right. Cool so, what color. do you notice right away? All of these numbers don't start with two, but instead they start with. Uh, oh, they all start with three. That they makes all start sense. With three. So let's go ahead and trace that. Mm, I like the number three. Yeah, that's a fun one. All right, so three and a zero. We have three in tenth place. So what's this number? 30. 30, a zero and a one's place, 30. The next number we have a three and then a one. Well, that would be 31. 31. My three here, and then I have a two. 32. 32. Oh, I see there's kind of a pattern to this. I, I like writing three because it's so symmetrical. It's, it's so nice the way it's written with the, little, yeah. with the little bump in the middle there, huh? Yeah, 33. 33, I'm sorry, I moved on without you. 33, and now we have 30. Uh, 34. 34, and what comes after 34? We have a three and a five. So that would be 35. 35. Three and a six. Thirty-six. Three and a seven. Thirty-seven. Three and an eight, your favorite number. Thirty-eight is great. And a three and a nine. Thirty-nine. Oh, and I know why that's the last number. Why is that the last number? Because you've just completed the decade. The next number is going to be 40. 30, 10. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, I think that's going to be the next question, right? I don't know. Number four says, what number comes after 39? Oh, Max? my gosh. Look at that. There you go. So it would be 40. 40, because that's going to be the next decade. All right. So let's quickly pick a number to choose. Which do you think was the hardest number to write in the 30s decade? And let's go ahead and practice it. Well, I tell you, I know your favorite was 33. I did like, you know what? I'm going to choose that. Let's choose 33. OK. That's good because it really gives you a lot of practices on your threes. Wow, yeah, look at that three. That's a wide three. Let's make a skinnier three. Oh. Threes are fun. I do like threes. I like how that middle part of the uh, of the three goes right on that middle line. That's right on that middle helpful. line, right? So that's a nice little that's a nice little um, hint for you. For those of you at home, if you have this kind of paper, to be able to see that that middle line can be a nice little guiding spot. I don't want to do it like this right. or like this. Oh, yeah. So let's be really careful and try to get right there on that middle line. I do like writing number three. It's relaxing. All right, let's finish up here with number five, write equations with the number 40. Oh, so, cool. So just like we did with our number 30, how many times did we have to add 10? Uh, let's see, it was one, two, three, four. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 40. Equals 40. Um, so what if we started with, so if we add 10 plus 10, we have 20, and another 10 was? 30. 30. So 30 plus what is going to give us 40? Um, let me think here. Oh, 10. 10. And for the last one, I don't think I can trick you because you're too good for this. But if we started with 39, what could we add to that to get to 40? Oh, 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 that's right. Because after 39, you're only one away from 40. So it would be 39 plus 1 equals 40. Well done, Max. Thank you, Mr. Tang. Thanks for teaching me. This is great stuff. No problem. Boys and girls, please continue practicing your numbers at home. And the cool thing about it is you can start with any number that you need to. Yeah. Unfortunately for us, we're out of time for today. Oh, man. Well, you know what, though? I'm Max. 
And I'm Mr. Tang. And thanks, thanks for watching today, boys and girls, and keep having fun with math. Stay safe.